Well here they are, that's the end piece which I've tapered off the front and I'm going to just drill through there so that I can get the plunger in. Uh, that's the coupler in the middle which now needs boring out. I've done a second coupler so I can extend the tube outwards and then that's the end piece which I'll also drill and tap so that I can put a, a T-piece handlebar on it. Uh, that was a lot of hard work and my hands feel like they've been trampled by a cart horse. I did also manage to take a couple of teeth off the die. I think what happened was this uh, central screw came loose which caused it to close up slightly, uh, tightening up the thread and I think at that point it jammed and took a couple of teeth off but not the end of the world and I only paid about 10 quid for the, for the die so we'll call that disposable. As predicted the aluminium tube is slightly easier to cut. I did have a quick go at that so that threads in there quite nicely but uh, one problem I'm having with this is the the die tends to wobble slightly so trying to keep that dead center is a little tricky so what I'm going to do is use another piece of aluminium tubing I've got which is a, a one inch internal so that's pretty much the same size as the thread uh, and therefore the die, uh, the tap so if I cut a piece off there bore it out so it acts as a sleeve over here then I can drop that over the end and use that as a guide when I'm starting to get the tap going in so I'll hacksaw that off uh, bore it out on the inside on the lathe and then we'll chop this down and carry on cutting the threads in here. I'm going to make the uh, coupler about four inches long so I'll take two inches uh, down for the sleeve and then just a slight inside cut because that doesn't quite fit there so I just need to bore that down maybe two inches slightly on the inside to fit that and then 28 mil on this side. So we'll quickly hacksaw this off and I've got this so that it will go in approximately two inches, 50 mil. So this will be my end stop. What should make it nice and simple. And the die measures out at 20. 5.6 outside uh, tap sorry 25.6 outside diameter and this is about 25.4 nominal on the inside so I need about a millimeter off this I think That'll do. I can always cut another one if it doesn't quite work. I'll call that quits. Go put the kettle on. It's a little bit loose, but I think I can live with that. And that will just do to keep that tap a little bit straight. So uh, chop a few bits off here now and give it a proper go. Since I'm lacking a tap wrench of adequate proportions, I've armed myself with a suite of pipe wrenches because I'm not going to splash out and buy a tap wrench especially for the job. So uh, we'll just lubricate these up. That's the second I actually want the taper. And I've marked on this the depth that I want to go to on this one. So we'll give it a bit of cutting fluid. Drop our sleeve on and see if we can't get this going.
And with a better look, this should be down to depth. Swarf in there, but we'll see if it goes down. See if that's the halfway point. And yeah, not bad. I think by the time it's tightened up, that should be pretty reasonable. So we'll call that one done. And here's the sections so far. If I tighten it all up, there's the end piece, there's the other end piece. You can see how well this rolls, which is not terrible. There's a bit of a wiggle at this end I can see, but I think we can probably live with that. And if I screw it back together in a slightly different way, it might be better. Yeah, it's a little bit there, but it's not, not critical. So the next stage will be to chop out a couple of pieces here, one for the anvil and one for the firing pin. They need to be relatively accurate, so I might uh, take my time over that. And then I've just got to crop this down a little bit to fit in here, and then crop this down a little bit to fit in here. I'm deliberately making this section, the firing section, a bit longer than I need to begin with, because that will uh, basically means that I need less force to set this thing off. I don't want to I can always shorten it to put more force into it, but I can't lengthen it once I've done that, obviously. So I'll start with this fairly long, and if necessary, I can trim this down and trim the spring down just to increase the uh, amount of force we get. But uh, so far, so good. It's starting to look like a, a useful tool.